What's going on guys? Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when and where you're watching the video. So, in today's video, I decided to do something special and discuss which type of bar suits you best. So, as some of you guys may know, I am sponsored by a company called Envy Scooters, and right in front of me, right here, I have four different bars that they make, and we're gonna go through each one and kind of discuss which one would suit you more and what I like about them. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you enjoy the video and any of my other videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video and you can watch it straight away. You know, you can be the, you be the first one to watch it. You can leave that first comment. All right, so the first bar we're gonna start off with is the one right here. And all right, so first off the bat, I'm gonna say, I don't know, some of you guys are gonna comment about the grips being on this and half off this. The reason that it is like this is because recently, me and Claudius filmed a video for Scooter Hut called The Hunger Games. It's where you pretty much spread stuff around the skate park, you gotta put the scooter together first one to do it and do a trip wins. And Scooter Hut still have these because they're giving it away. So right now, I'm gonna put the Instagram on the screen. It's gonna be right here. You guys head over there. They're giving away both of the scooters that we made up. You can have it exactly how we made it up or they can fix it up for you guys, completely up to you. And all you gotta do to enter is repost a photo using a hashtag. So go over there for your chance to win. But these are the sole bars. So these bars are made of chromoly, which means they are just a little bit heavier. They weigh about 1.4 kilos, which is around like three pounds. Um, but they are a lot stronger than any aluminium bar. These aren't the heaviest bar in the world, but they are for people that do prefer like a heavier front end and not a super light. So it's kind of like a leveled out scooter. Um, generally people that enjoy riding like ledges or rails or any, any of the type of things, it kind of is like a bar that varies. It's kind of just your personal preference. Anyone can really ride this. Um, I used to ride these when I first got an MV and absolutely loved them. They're really not that heavy. And they also now come in oversized, which is awesome for a lot of people because I run oversized, so, you know, it's very helpful. These bars cost around 115 Australian dollars for most places. No scooter hut here sells them for about 114.95, so pretty much 115 dollars, and it's well worth the money. I guarantee you guys will not break these bars. All right, so next up here we have the Union bars. So these bars come in, I think, three different colors. They come in this oil slick, which is my favorite. It's like oil slick, and then it goes up to where the hand grips are, and it's just chrome. Um, and then they come in black, and they also come in silver. So. That's awesome. Got a bit of a variety there, a bit of a, 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 a variety. These bars are made of seven series aluminum, so they are very, very light. Um, I would recommend this bar to anyone that really enjoys throwing their scooter over their head, just throwing their scooter around like a crazy bat. Any of the tricks that when you're running like chromoly bars and it's a bit heavier and harder to swing around, um, these will help quite a bit with that, uh, as well as the Reaper bars too, because they're also aluminum. Um, but the only real difference is that they are, I'd say the sole bars are a lot stronger, but these are a lot lighter. Um, I prefer the look of these ones personally, but that's all personal preference. These bars weigh about 900 grams in comparison to the 1.4 kilos of the sole bar. And they're about 650 millimeters high and 600 millimeters wide. So they're, they're pretty, honestly, like a perfect standard length. When I run them, I just chuck them straight on my scooter. So they're honestly nice, but I do run like pretty low bars to be honest. So yes. Yes. And these bars cost around $130 here in Scooter Hut, Australian dollars, that is. Um, generally around anywhere, they're gonna be around the same price, except for American dollars, it'll probably be a little bit cheaper in American dollars, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so next up we have the Reaper V2 bar. So these honestly have been my all time favorite bar. Uh, seriously, like so strong, so light, and they just look so nice. Like they have the nice little design in the front. It's not overdone. It just, they come in awesome colors. This blue right here was easily my favorite color they ever made them in. So these bars are a tad lighter than the Unions, weighing about 850 grams. Uh, they're 650 higher, so the same height, but I think they're around 580 wide. So I think they're a little bit a little bit shorter in width honestly these bars are awesome for anyone looking to progress to their riding with doing more technical tricks like bri flips in woods with front scooters tail whips bar spins all that kind of stuff um, these are perfect but also they're perfect for if you want to ride ledges and stuff like that too like that these are flavio presente sig bars and he is a god on ledges so 
you know, all round. This suits anyone's style of riding, really. All right, so I saved the best for last, and last but definitely not least. These are the Reaper V3s. I know everyone's been waiting for these for a very long time, and they finally have them here in Scooter Hut. These are the Chrome. I believe they come in Chrome and Black, and I think they're coming in Oil Slick, I'm pretty sure, too. So that is awesome. I think these are going to be around the same price, maybe a, a little bit pricier, um, just because they are brand new, but this all-new design, seriously, is just the best thing ever. Like, I tested these bars for quite some time, and they were easily, easily my favorite bar I've ever rode. Um, I think, I'm going to measure this right now. So, they do come a little bit taller than the Reaper V2s, and a little bit wider too, so that is awesome. Um, out of all these bars sitting right in front of me here, my personal best is the Reaper V3s by far, to be 100% honest with you. Um, my biggest problem with the Reaper V2s is that the gussets right here came up a little bit a little bit too high and a little bit too sharp. So when I was doing my front scooters, I would kind of uh, like land wrong on my fingers and it wouldn't feel good. And that is why I preferred the unions over that. I 100% prefer the look of reapers to be hunt like to be completely honest but then we also have titanium bars which i don't have here um because mb do not make titanium bars just yet hopefully sometime down in the future um titanium bars are really good they are quite expensive uh just because the metal is so expensive to get and they're so expensive to make and they usually cost about 100 to even sometimes 200 dollars more um, but titanium is lighter and it's supposed to be stronger too. So it could be worth investing in if you guys um, kind of really like the light bars, but you break them quite often. Um, personally, me, I really ride transition. I like only really ride transition and boxes and stuff like that. So I never have a problem breaking bars. And I'm actually a pretty heavy guy. Honestly, I weigh like 90 kilos. So I'm a pretty heavy kid. Like I'm really stoked too chuck some of these on my scooter honestly like i had a test pair of these and been running for the past couple of months with tape all around them so no one's seen and now i'm stoked that they're finally out so but guys that's gonna wrap up the video right here i hope you enjoyed it i hope this helps you out just a little bit um kind of deciding on what bars you guys want to get especially christmas coming up you know you guys might want some new bars for your scooter you might want santa to bring you something under that tree all you got to do is link sound to this video and he'll decide for you guys what he thinks is best. Um, but if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. There's going to be a new video every single day. Every single day, something different, something sweet, something sick. And if you want me to do more of these videos, kind of where I run you through like my personal preference and what I think is best suitable for most riders, um, drop it in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram is going to be right here. Just here. Hit me up on Instagram. Make sure you DM me and just tell me what you want to see. Because um, I'm always open for suggestions. But right now, I'm getting on with my day. And I'm going to go and film another video for tomorrow. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.